Okie dokie, hello, what's up, fellow crafters, my name is Barcraft1, I'm sorry if you can't hear audio, but that is because I have headphones on, because, yeah, so basically this a change in audio, I'll probably disconnect my headphones, that'll reconnect them after a little bit, but, anyways, welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club, the music is blasting in my ears, Monica is staring at me very creepily, and so is Sayori, anyways, let's go ahead and continue our get. You're kidding me. Well, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. I don't remember. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll be right back. Alright, guys, I'm back. So, anyways, let's go ahead and click Monica. Hi, Toy Bonnie. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. Dude. There's no sound. I'm not joking, guys. There's no sound. That's creepy. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. Alright, guys, I'm turning off my headphones. That way, my battery. And then does it die? Wait, what? Okay, that's creepy. A much better at just going off, just going with the flow until more so. And anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Toy Body. We're all little bears today, you know. It's sort, but it's that sort of barrier that we'll all get learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm-hmm. I like this one. This makes me think of something Sayori would like. Is that so? You and Sayori are really good friends, right? I wouldn't be surprised if you had those sort of things in common. Ah, well, we may be good friends, but Sayori and I are actually really different. Hmm, well that may be the case. But maybe there's also some similarities that you would expect. The way she talks about you, it sounds like the two of you really care about each other's well-being. Even if you show it in different ways, it ends, it ends up being more similar than you think. So, I think that's the kind of vibe I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You sure you're not read, reading into it too much? <laughs> I could be. Oh gosh, it's so eerie. But in any case, it's a yours way has a kind of a gentle feel to it. I can tell she likes exploring with emotions, like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy sad things, too? Okay, that's a little dark, in a way. Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a little bit, either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I, I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to, to find the kind of style that suits you. Everyone else might be a little too biased toward their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you, help you find out what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way that everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have it to worry about impressing them or anything. <laughs> okay. Ha <laughs> ha. Anyways, you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hold a wall. It could have been me. See the destruction. Listen to music, guys. Okay, then. It could have been me. See, the direction the sparkle protrudes. A, no a nosy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I would never know. I, I would never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I reel, blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas. I'm already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was too deep. 
stretching forever to everything, a whole of infinite choices. I realized now that I wasn't looking in, I was looking out, and he, on the other side, was looking in. Dude, this is really good! It's, that was, like, dark, deep! What was dark? It was more deep. So what do you think? Hmm, it's very free for him, if that's what you want to call it. Sorry, but I'm not the right, really the right person to ask for feedback. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah, the show's gotten pretty popular nowadays. There's a lot of poems that have been put emphasis on the chiming between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if I know where to put it. I'll be right back. I am back. Sorry. Um, so anyway, so basically Monica was saying how she was having some type of infinity lately and how it's been influencing her poems a little bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's coming on strongly. Maybe after I've always better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's right tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get to get something down on the paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is this. If you keep preparing the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand to go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Oh my god, fried on. Phew! You said it. I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. It, that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my medical writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I need. I guess that's why I ended up getting myself a two. Across the room, Sayori Monaco are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri Natsuki. The ginger, the ginger, ginger, gingerly ex exchange sheets of paper. Sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's with this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem to the desk with one hand. Turns to the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly, it's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How could that be cute? I, I know that. I just meant the language. I guess I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean, I'll be right back. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. Hmph. <laughs> if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. I'll be right back. Again, sorry guys. If I... Uh, which people did, by the way. Say you already liked it. And Toy Bonnie did too. Oh my god, look at her! She's like, oh my god, how dare you insult my nice little tiny poem! So based on that, I'm glad we give you some, some, some suggestions of my own! Oh my god, dude, that is such a tone twister for me. First of all, excuse me, I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a lot of time establishing my writing style. I don't... I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Mm. It's what I liked my poem, too, you know. Oh, my God. He even told me he was impressed by it. Oh, my God. Natsuki slowly stands up. Oh, I didn't realize that you were so vested in trying to cop impress our new member, Yuri. Well, why are you putting me into this? Eh? eh? That's not what I... 
you, you're just, Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Toy Mario appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Oh my god. Maybe I liked both your poems and I wasn't, and I appreciate yours equally. Can't we just be cooperative here? Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Oh my god. Are you that full of yourself? Okay, how did they even come to this conversation? I. No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Uh, oh my god. Uh, um. Is everyone okay? Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Toy Boy walked in the. Started showing up. Oh my god. Dude, that's something private. Oh my god. That Natsuki! Yeah, Natsuki! Come on! Oh my god. Uh, um, Natsuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you! Oh my god. I, I don't like fighting, guys. So hey, both girls turned towards me as if they just noticed I was standing there. Toy Bonnie! She, she's trying to make me look bad! That's not true! She started it! If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple way is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place! What's the point of making your poems so convoluted for, of, for no reason? The mean should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Let me explain that to her, Toy Bonnie. Oh my god. Well, wait! There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not un unnecessarily limiting yourself. It's also a waste. You understand that, right, Twibai? Um, well, uh, how did I get dragged into this in the first place? Exactly. It's not, not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they probably think more highly of me. So, let me say Ori. Natsuki? Natsuki? Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. Instead, I turned to Yuri. Yuri? But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Say Yuri! Eh? Yeah! What? And what's Fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. <laughs> Look at her! She's like freaked out! How can the two of you keep fighting when you know you're making your friend feel like this? Toy Bonnie. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I I agree. It's unfair for others to interject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Gary what stuck up jerk she's being. She would never! It's your immaturity that made her upset in the first place. Oh my god, you guys. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? That is exactly why. Exactly why nobody likes. Stop! The music stopped too. Oh my god, scary. <laughs> Natsuki! Yuri! You guys are my friends! I I just want everyone to get along and be happy! My friends are wonderful people, and I love them because of their differences! Natsuki's poems, they're amazing, but they give you so many feelings with just a few words! And your poems are so amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head! Everyone's so talented, and so why are we fighting? Be because! Well... Oh, so! Natsuki's cute, and there's nothing wrong with that! Nira's boobs are the same as they always were. Big and beautiful. Uh, okay. Uh, okay, thanks, Sayori. Sayori? Sayori stands triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewildered expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, this is why Sayori is vice president. I whispered to... I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not always good with people. I can't even bring myself to interject. 
As president, it's kind of embarrassing of me. <laughs> now, oh my god, I keep pushing that. It's not like I could blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that means Sayori is amazing in her own way, isn't she? You could say that. She may, might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to not. Such a genuine person make, really does make a good present, regardless of what she says. If only I could get that chance to talk to her a little more. Hmm. Okay, everyone. Just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I would say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. The reason why I give Natsuki an attitude -y type of voice is because she's kind of attitude -y. Do I mind? How about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll all do the same thing. To we'll do the same thing tomorrow, and maybe you'll learn to something from your friends too. So your problems will turn out even better. I think to myself. I do learn a little more about the kinds of poems everyone uh, everyone likes. It, with any luck, that means I can at least do a better job of pressing those I want to impress. I got to myself with newfound determination. Toy Bonnie, ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. <laughs> Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and, time, since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either, so we are enjoying this time. Sayori? About what happened to earlier? Eh? What do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's where the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. I just want your opinion, that's all. I could see why they'd make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Toy Bai, it's nice to get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happiest. Aww. And I really think I really think everyone likes you too. That's <laughs> every day is going to be so much fun. <sighs> I still it looks like Sayori still is it. Cause I could. Oh my god. <sighs> Sorry, guys. It looks like Sayori is still. It looks like Sayori still hasn't caught onto the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with it, everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? Well, we'll just have to wait and see what the future holds, Sayori. I pat Sayori on the shoulder. I said that more to myself than to her. But it's easy to use Sayori as an intentional monologue sometimes. Okay! Yeah, let's do this. Alright, now it's time to write another poem. Like, I really wish that you could see your poem, like your own poem. Um, Joy, um, anime. Uh, okay, um, Let's see here. So, family, um, smile, let's see here, bun, okay, then ribbon, okay, that's Natsuki, fear, uh, treasure, hop, okay, uh, mouse, mouse, okay, nope, um, play, fire, play, okay, right, um, Cry, laugh, um, love, okay, um, let's see here, then we'll do color, and we'll do giggle, okay, uh, we'll do climax as in What's with that music? Um... You know, I'm trying to think here, man! 
I was like, you're just not helping. R romance. Um, sweet. Okay. Cute. Uh, uh boop. Mess. Mess. Scare. Scare. Mess. Massacre. Okay. Um. Bomb. Misery. Party. Oh, God. Why is the S word there? Um, let's see here, that adventure. Okay, the last one, we're gonna go... Cheer. There we go. Another day passes, it's time for the club meeting, alright? I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. I treat the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hey, Tweet Bunny. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. Well, that's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. But I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. Will you come with me by snack? No thanks. Eh? Th that's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? eh? Why the... All of a sudden? No reason, really. I just want, want to look at... Oh, but I guess she has no money! Eh? Uh, eh? Uh, <laughs> So your never sweet retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. So she turns upside down and lets its contents spill onto the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can see right through you, Sayori. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. Even if you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So, either you're not hungry, or you want an excuse to take a walk. Or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money, so I so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. So that leaves only the one option. Oh, I, I give up! To make me feel guilty! If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> Gary's son giggles. Alright, guys. I think I'm gonna have to save it here. Eh? Save. We're gonna save that there. But don't worry, guys. We still have all of these slots. But anyways, guys. I have to end this video here. If you guys did enjoy, please stick to the button on the video. Right now, let's try to reach 30 likes. Subscribe. Join the today, become a crafter, and leave a comment. This is Barcraft1 saying off.